Hello everyone, we will continue the topic sub routines and in the previous videos we covered what is subroutine, what is internal subroutine, what is external subroutine, how to create a subroutine with parameters, how to create a subroutine without parameters, how to call in another program, what is formal parameter, what is actual parameter, what is pass by value and pass by reference concept, which one is preferable and pass by reference is always preferable. Now what we will do, we will take the various examples and in those examples, we will implement subroutines. Now what we will do, we will take a simple example. Previously, we covered the example of sum of two numbers. Now what we will do, we will take a simple program in which we are inserting the data to the internal table using append statement. And in this program, I will let you know how modularization technique make, they makes the code effective, how it is reducing the code redundancy a lot. Now, if you do not have this program available in a BAP programming playlist, we have a internal table operation append same to same program I am using and you can create a simple program in which you are inserting few records to the internal table using append statement and then in that program you can use the modularization technique subroutine and if you do not have you can simply go for a back programming playlist we have a append internal table operation program and i am using same to same program now in this program we have internal table work area internal table has two columns order number payment mode and we are inserting the records to the internal table using append statement now as of now we are inserting five records and have you seen we have written continuous so many lines of code. I can make this code in effective manner by simply, simply using the modularization technique subroutine. Just see these lines of code. What you are doing in this lines of code? We are always passing order number value, payment mode value and we are appending that data to internal table. This process we are doing five times. Every time we are passing the value of order number and payment mode and we are filling this internal table. Just compare it to your subroutine. What is subroutine? In subroutine, we can go for parameters by using tables, using changing. Just see this code. In this code, what is our using? Our using is order number and payment mode. And what is changing? This internal table is changing. We are always, always passing that data to this internal table. It means what are our using? Using is order number and payment mode, order number, payment mode, order number, payment mode. And always, always we are filling this internal table. So rather than writing so many lines of continuous code, I can simply, simply create a subroutine which has two using parameters. What is one order number? What is second payment mode? And what is changing? Changing is our internal table. So I can simply, simply do this. Yes, 
values of order number and payment mode are, are changing. That is true because one time order is one. Next time order number might be two. Next time order number might be three. Values are changing. So you can see how effective whenever I will write the code, how effective the code will be. Suppose I will create a subroutine. You all know what is the first keyword to create a subroutine perform. Suppose I will give some name to the subroutine. Suppose I will say set underscore data. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Now I will go for using. Now, first time, what you are using? You are using one. That is your value of order number. What is your payment mode? C. You are using two values, one and C. And what you are changing? We are changing the internal table LT underscore data. Now, this is first time. Now, you are going this process five times. So, what I will do? I will do control T. Now, what is your using? Using is one only. And what is payment mode now? D. Now, I will again do control D. Now, what is your order number now? Two. And what is payment mode? C. Now, I will again do control D. Now, what is the value? 2 and D. Now, what is again? 2 and what is again now? 3 and C. I will do control D. 3 and C. Now, same to same subroutine, but we have different, different values. Can I create a subroutine now? Yes, I will create a subroutine. I will double click. It is asking, do you want to create the subroutine? Yes, I want to create. Yes. Now, I will put Z before that. In your system, yes, it might comes with Z only. So you can simply, simply select. You can go for a separate include or you can go for the main program also. It's totally your wish. I'll go for OK. OK, I'll just make some characters less. It is saying it's very long name. So I just shorten the name. I'll go for OK. Yes. Now I told you, yes, whenever you are going for formal parameters, always, always use PV so that there will not be any confusion. I'm writing PV underscore O and O. And here I will write PV underscore PM. I already told you, whenever we will go for formal parameters, for the variables, we will use PV. For the internal table, we will use PT. Now, I passed as reference reference. We will not go for pop. We will not go for pass by value unless and until we want to change the value of formal parameters without affecting the actual parameter. So as of now, nothing. We just want to use the values of order number and payment mode. And we want to change this particular internal table. We do not want to do anything else. So I will use always, always the pass by reference concept. Now, I will simply, simply cut this logic. I'll say firstly, I will paste the logic. I will put into the subroutine. 
Now, here the important understanding. Now your order number is into this formal parameter. Now your payment mode is into this particular formal parameter. Now you are appending that data from work area to internal table. What is your formal internal table? P, T. Now, during the starting itself, I told you, yes, these are single, single variables. So if you are giving that type, no problem. If you are not giving that type, SAP will understand. But SAP will never, never understand the internal table if you are not giving that type. Suppose we, what we covered, we will always make a practice that you will give that type. Suppose your order number is of which type? I'll pass the data element of order number. I'll simply, simply paste. Now for payment mode also. If for this order number and payment mode, if I will not give also, it will work. Because these are variables. These are single, single values. Now, what I will do, I'll check the syntax now. I have not given that type to this internal table, which is formal parameter. I'll check the syntax. Now, have you seen system is clearly giving the error PT underscore data is not an internal table. Now, in the next video, we will see how to make this internal table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are again digging down into the subroutine topic and we are going for the creation of a subroutine into another program. So what we did, I simply took an example in which we are inserting the data to the internal table using append statement. As of now, we are inserting five records. So what we did, rather than writing the logic in continuous manner, we will use the modularization technique subroutine. And we realized in this whole logic, we are always passing order number payment mode. We are filling the internal table. Order number payment mode. We are filling the internal table. So why, why we should go for this much continuous lines of code? Can we make this code effective using modularization technique subroutine? Answer is yes. So we created the subroutine. We gave some name to the subroutine. We used two using and one changing. And remember, I have not at all used the concept of pass by value. I used pass by reference and make it practice. You should always, always go for pass by reference. Unless and until you do not, you want to change the value of formal parameters without affecting the actual parameter. Here, we want to use these values and we want to change this. Yes. So we took these two as using and we took this as changing. Now, if you have single, single variables, giving that type is optional. Now, if you are not giving the type to internal table, system will not consider that it is an internal table. In the next video, we will see how we can make SAP understand that it is an internal table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.